Lexi and Mal, so nice to meet you and chat with you. Hey. Honestly, I'm not just saying this, but you two were legit my faves <laughs> when I was watching this series. So I was like ecstatic knowing that the two of you were going to be paired together. So first of all, congratulations to you on this series and just so excited to chat with you today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We're so happy to be here. And like, honestly, being paired up with you was the best news I got today, so. Yay! So awesome. Yeah, that's, I'm so excited. Just And just FYI, this is going to be a spoiler discussion, so feel free to speak freely here. Um, I know for, yeah, I know for the both of you, this experience was definitely a journey. Um, I think that's an, the biggest understatement that you'll hear today. But I'm curious for you, when you're watching the series back, all of the episodes back, and I think you watched them back prior to the reunion, mm -hmm. how do you feel like you grew the most for yourself as a person? Like, how, in what ways do you feel like you just grew as a person? And did it actually provide more clarity in what you want in a relationship and a marriage. Lexi, I'll begin with you. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, and I go back a lot to my time with Mal, and that when I came onto this show um, and did this experience, I definitely felt like a little unsure of what I thought I deserved, what I thought I was able to ask for in a relationship, and just who I felt like I wanted to be as a person, like being somebody who's strong, confident, likes what they see in the mirror. And so I think time spent on the show, especially with Mal, like feeling like I had outlets, whether that be the gym or just feeling good about the way I looked in the mirror, how I felt about what I deserved is something I look for now. And it's crazy to have watched the show back because I see patterns that I maybe was repeating in prior relationships that weren't necessarily aligned with what I needed from another person, you know, very much being that person that was give, 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 but not receiving. Um, and so it's been such a humbling experience to watch it back and see where I'm at now and knowing how much growth I've had from when I was on the show. Um, interesting. Um, I reflect on my experience there and I think for me it was really about uh, my ability to make a decision like, you know, and stick to that and really, and I think vulnerably speaking I can be a bit fair weather sometimes. I'm like, I need to get all the facts before I make a decision, right? And so in this experience, you don't get that opportunity. You have these options and, and it's laid out in front of you and you have to make your decision and stick with it and you know see whatever decision you make all the way through to the end. So I think it really showed me my ability to uh, decide what I want and just stick that through no matter what and not you know backstep or anything like that. So. Yeah, I actually thought that the two of you had one of the better trial marriages in the show and <laughs> watching it, you know, and I'm curious how the two of you kind of leaned on each other and helped each other because like I said, I thought the trial marriage went really well and I kind of didn't know what was going to happen between the two of you. <laughs> fair, fair. I think there was a point where we didn't either, but honestly, when we were dating each other, it was so genuine and good. I felt like from the moment we started talking, I knew that this was just in general a person that was going to be in my life forever, which literally remains true because I call her like three times a day and <laughs> like literally all the time. And so I think like at least how I leaned on on Mal is like there there was a lot of struggles throughout the process, like knowing where my where my other relationship was being like in a different apartment in the same like complex and we leaned on each other because we were just honest like it was supportive it was kind we made each other laugh like there's so many moments that i look back to that like like maybe don't make like air because they were just silly things that we did as a couple but we walked through every aspect of life like introducing people as our wife i was like oh yeah this is my wife like she's still my first wife she'll forever be my first <laughs> wife whoever i do marry will be wife number two <laughs> so I think it was just like leaning on somebody that I felt like was a best friend. Um, and that was more than I ever could have asked for. I love that so much. Well, they are wrapping me again. So nice to chat with the two of you today. Really quick, are either of you talking to Yoli or Ray at all since the reunion, your exes? Yeah, I mean, you know, I Yoli's a fantastic person. And um, I think you see the humanity in people. and. I loved her then. I still love her today. She's an amazing human. So, yes, I still check in. You know, we still check in on each other every now and again. Yeah, and honestly, same over here. Like, I think one of the things I respect the most about us is that we had relationships that did have a lot of good to them. And it doesn't mean they were a forever person. But, yeah, of course, I still check on Ray. I still want to make sure she's in a good place in life. I do want all the best for her. It just wasn't the best for forever. 
Yeah, no, well, mm-hmm. I, I, I love those answers. And again, I appreciate your time today. You both look fantastic. Thank and so you. happy to see that you're doing well. Truly, the, the show was a journey for me and I needed some <laughs> wine throughout, so. Same. <laughs> yes, we opted for tequila, but wine's good too. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, is my fave. Thank you, ladies, so much. I appreciate it. Joanna, so nice to meet you. It's so I... nice to meet you, too. Yes, yes, big fan. I was so excited when I found out that you were going to be the host of this series. Oh, and this is going to be a spoiler discussion, by okay. the way, because I've seen everything. I've seen the reunion, and I have some questions, girl. Okay, <laughs> I hope I have answers. <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm wondering, you know, you're hosting this entire series, and you're seeing these real-life couples go through this experience. I'm sure that it's probably hard to not form your own opinions and just kind of facilitate the discussion. But I'm curious for you what the most shocking thing was when you were filming. Um, something that you were just like, wow, I'm this kind of, I did not expect this to happen for this particular couple. Um, I think Yoli, or, so this is, we can be we can be off the record, on the record. <laughs> yes, because this interview will be held post. Okay, uh, great, reunion. okay. Yes. I think Yoli and Mal's relationship uh, I it seemed so solid and on that track, mm-hmm. so much was there. Um, that really surprised me. There was one moment, I don't even know if I've said this out loud. I think I've probably said it to my one of my best friends, but where Yoli and Xander were kind of playing footsies underneath the table when they all came back. And my heart actually broke for Mal because I knew that Mal had a great experience with Lexi and they had a really intimate, true relationship that was built on such respect and they were there for each other. And to this day, they're very close. Um, But I don't think that Mal was expecting that. So as the outsider on the inside, I was, my heart was pounding and racing in that moment because I just knew that Mal is going to get her heart broken. Um, But in perfect Mal form, she handles like a boss. And so there's just so much – there's so much awareness and and just realness within this group of people but also with themselves that there was – they were able to experience these these really hard moments and kind of navigate them without, you know, setting the house on fire. So – which was also (laughs) impressive in its own way. I mean, when you're so vulnerable and you're thinking that – you know, your partner's maybe having something like, you know, Mal and Lexi were having this really deeply personal experience that really bonded them, but never did you expect that your partner was going to come back and not be there with you 100%. That really got me bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I love that you said that. I actually was just telling Mal and Lexi that I thought their trial marriage was one of the better ones out Definitely. of the entire group. And I, I love to hear that they're still friends. How long in between filming the series did you then film the reunion? And how much tension was in the room that day at that reunion? <laughs> um, so it was, I think, techni- I think it was over a year. That wow. it was a while. I don't know if that's right because my a lot of my years blur into each other, so you, you have to right. forgive me for that one. But it was a good amount of a good enough amount of time where a lot could happen. And right. the tension was real. <laughs> I've never done any I've only watched reunions. I certainly didn't think I was gonna be, you know, housing myself in the middle seat of this, you know, experience and um and I didn't know how everyone felt and I was as interested as everybody else was about where they were. And they were very specific about what I knew and what I didn't know. And just to allow me to experience it for the first time. I mean, someone said to me today, your facial expressions during the reunion. I was like, I literally was just like, what, what? Okay. You're literally the audience. I am the 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 audience. audience. Now you know what it looks like when I watch these shows at home. (laughs) No, yeah, now you're invested in it. So what would your character Maddie from Sweet Magnolia <laughs> say to this woman? What would her advice be? I think it would be similar to mine. I mean, you know, I think Maddie's journey and especially, you know, as, as her marriage falls apart and you wipe your the dust off of you and you say, okay, that's what you did and that's why we're here. But then you also start to look a little bit inward. 
Um, I think that's a compelling part of the the journey for Maddie and for all of these people that were a part of this process is, you know, yeah, I'm here because of X, Y, and Z, but what was my part in all of this? And I think that's as valuable as anything. It almost uh, is a happy ending in itself. It, it really is. And I love that answer about what Maddie would say. I do think it's similar to what you would say. Joanna, they're wrapping me. Thank oh, you so much. Thank for you. Time. Take yes, care. And I, I need an Are You Afraid of the Dark reboot. <laughs> okay. Let's put it in the universe. We can manifest this. We're putting it into the universe. Great. Just wanted to get Done. that out there. I co sign. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Joanna. Nice Take to care. meet you. Take care. Nice to meet you too.